Hello students, this video we are going to see another one, section of solid. Here we are having a hexagonal pyramid of base. 35 mm and axis 70 mm height is resting on HP. It is a hexagonal pyramid. Hexagon means the base it will be having six sides. It is a pyramid and the top will be as an apex. Pyramid means the top will be as an apex. With its base and two sides of base are perpendicular to BP. So this is an important one. How it, it is resting. So that is very important. Next. It is cut by a plane inclined at 45 degree to VP and perpendicular to HP. So this is also very important. In before section of solids, it is uh, inclined to HP and perpendicular to VP. But it is just the opposite. And 10 mm away from the axis. This is very, very important. 10 mm away from the axis. So for this, we need to draw the section of. We can draw, find how we are going to proceed. X, Y. Okay. Next here it is said where two of the sides are perpendicular to VP. So here it has to be like this your solid uh, pyramid has to be like this okay next i can project it there to the top like this so this is your solid here it is said this is the access point it is perpendicular to hp and the perpendicular to hp means the cutting plane has to be like this it will be cut the solid in this way it will be cut the solid in this way, this way it will be away from the axis means for 10 mm away. So 10 mm away means take your compass and take 10 mm radius and draw a small circle. And yeah, tangent has to be drawn in 45 degree incl inclined like this. You have to draw and this portion has to be removed. So for this we need to find out the section the area. Like this it will come. Okay, and this is the section the portion and here we need to draw the or so this is the way we are going, how we are we can see in the problem how we are going to proceed it. So here already we have seen the thing. So so now we know where the space has to be left. So now according to that, I'm just drawing the x y line here, x y, v p, and h p, h p, and this is x. Now it is already said. So for this, I am just going to draw the 90 degree and I, now I will be finding the dimensions. The dimensions are, one side is 35 mm. 35 mm means, so here it will come in this way. This is 35 mm. 35 mm, now take your engineering template. So since this is a hexagon, you can take the hexagonal template. So so we can mark everything. Since this is a pyramid, we need to join the apex point also. O, A, B, C, D, E, F. How I will be finding out the top point and the axis height is 70 mm here. For 70 mm, I will draw the line I can also join these two so here this is O dash and this is while seeing from this side I can able to see A, B, C dash I can within bracket D dash E dash and F dash within brackets Okay, so this is the base diagram. So for this base diagram, we need to draw. Now, here the section of sectioning portion. So that is 10 mm away from the axis. So from your scale, you can measure 10 mm.
So from here, I will be drawing the minimum taking in the compass is very small one. The dimension is so we need to take very accurate. So and draw like this. Okay, so now we got the dimensions. This is the circle here. Next, I'll be finding out the 45 degree incline to VP. So here any one of the point any one of the point i will be marking it here now i am taking a 45 degree inclination look at here how i am going to take this is 45 degree inclination now this any one of the point i am just going to join this line a thin line okay you can make it an empty one okay now by using this scale i am just moving parallelly so the scale will move parallelly and that, me that means it is 45 degree inclined line can be drawn and this line has to be tangent to this one so now here we can be sure this angle is 45 degree and also it is 10 mm away from here this distance is 10 mm and it is 45 degree inclined also. Now we can give the name. So this is 1, 2, 3 and this is 4. Look at here. This 1 is falling in between A and B. Where the A and B in the front view? This is A and B. So now 1 by 1. The profile we can mark it here. In between A and B the 1 dash is available. Next, where the 2 dash 2 is available in between O and B. So look at here, this O and B is for full length. So we cannot able to find the full length here. So that is the problem. So we can leave it this too. Look at this 3. The point 3 is available in between O and C. Where the O and C is, this is O and C. So here we can draw a line which is like this. Next, point 4 is available in between C and D, it will be here. So we have found all the points except this point 2. So to find out this point 2, we need to find the true length of this inclined one, inclined line AOA, we need to find a true length. So for this, look at here, how I am going to proceed it is, first draw a horizontal line here. First draw a horizontal line, any one of the side. I will be selecting this side, a horizontal line. Now, taking the compass, I am just drawing a line like this. Okay. And also, I am just drawing a line from two also. A line from 2. So both the thing I am just going to make. Okay. So now I am going to draw a perpendicular line from both the thing. From here also I am going to make it. So we can see it later. Now I can join this OA. Now this O A, this is B, this is B means, this will be, so both, both has to be same, this is A or B, so this is A1, this is A1 dash, A or A1 dash, so both has to be same, now, this is the true length. Now look at here, now I am going to draw, finish this one. Just it is going to connect it, this area. So this is my point. This is 2, 1, this is 2, 1 dash. I got it. Now I am going to draw a horizontal line from here. So this is point 2 dash. 
Now I can say this is point two dash. Now we got all the points one dash, two dash, three dash. Again, this is four dash. I got all the points. Now we can easily join it. So once again, I will say here this is like a straight uh, projection of straight lines. Whenever the view line is given means this is a view line. This is not a true line. Whenever the view line is given means we have we need to draw a, a arc then a straight line. So we need just to draw a horizontal line to find out the exact point. So this is what our thing. Okay. Next, whenever in the top view there is a horizontal line, the corresponding line will be sure it is a true line. But here we don't have any horizontal line, so we framed a horizontal line. Then we draw an arc. So from that we found that true length here. So this is the main true length. This is what our required point. That is it. Another one true length. Okay, so now we got all the lines. Now we can join this also. So the section, the portion, this part will be removed. This part will be removed. Now we can hash this area also. We can hash this area. So this is part. Now I can draw the parallel line to this one away from this diagram. Next, I can find out the perpendicular points from all the four points here. can find out all the way now by using your compass here the four will be at the base and the one is also at the base this is one this is four and we need to find the two and three the two and three are from here this is two from the same point here the same point is this is the point this is two then for three I'll just measure this one here this is 3, from here this is 3. Now I can join all the points. This is the true shape. So we can hash this area. So this is a way of doing it. Here we can also name it. This is 2. This is 3. Here we can name this as true shape. So by this way we can follow the steps and we can find out the true shape of this section of portion. So look at here. Instead of this hexagon, if they are give, uh, giving us pentagon or a square premier, whatever the premier it has to be given like this means we can follow the same. So this is the way of doing it. Thank you.